Uh, why would you buy a Tesla Cybertruck? Ooh, because I was a <laughs> You can't even help it. You're like Michael Scott. You can't help but like say That's what she said. <laughs> I'm not an F54 fan. Oh, oh, oh. No! What's up guys? It's Dan and Atlas. I wanted to uh, take y'all on a ride and tell you exactly why I think the Z4M Roadster is the most underrated BMW out there right now. For one, they're all six-speed manual. It's perfect. You got a late S54, you know, 06, 07, 08. You got M3 competition brakes. You got a chassis that was designed to be a convertible. It wasn't no coupe that somebody chopped the roof off of and had to reinforce and make heavy and sloppy and all that. It, from the factories made to just, from the get-go, made to be a convertible. They drive so good. If you don't need two extra seats and you're buying an E46 M3 convertible over this, what are you doing? This is cheaper, it drives better, it looks so good. And you can get one, you can S54 and 08. That's sick. Yeah, I like these cars a lot. I know Jay does too. I love it! Woo! Let's go! Woo! It's our air flip again. Just again and again, <laughs> Val Kilmer of 2.0. That's right, brother. Hey, I'm a bike guy, but if it's got an engine in it, and she's hungry. You feed her, Jay. You feed her. Let her eat. Oh, of course, this car, oh man, all the cars get That was, getting that was a nice, us, man. but we had a flow, and that and then, just killed it. And the cord killed it, man. Good car. I want one real bad, real bad. Every time I drive one, I'm like, why do I, why do I have the M coupe? I should have the Roadster. It's just better. We'll hop on Glenwood real quick. I'll hit Glenwood South. Stop by Beer Garden, have some brewskis on the job, you know? Dude, this is, this is, that's a graffitied up Subaru Baja right there. You see that? Yeah, I got it on camera. That's sick. Oh, we're gonna start with Sean today. Uh, Sean? Jay? First question, uh, why? We have multiple questions today. Hmm, we do. Why would you buy uh, a choice? Yes, yes. You might not like the second one though. Be prepared. Why would you buy a Z4M today in 2024? I mean, it's hard to find another car that's the same fun factor. Okay. Rear wheel drive, limited slip, manual transmission. Hey, let's go. Okay. Why would you buy a Honda with the Earth Dreams engine? Because I gave up on life. Got he. Nice, I love it. Just, just <laughs> cut. That's simple. Feet, simple That's point. Sean's least favorite thing, Earth Dreams. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dave. Yes, sir. Why would you buy a Z4M today? So, you get an S54, a six speed, rear wheel drive, competition package brakes. I mean, dude, it's like the best setup and it's slept on right now. You can get a Roadster for mid high teens with a few miles and awesome car, dude. Awesome car. Uh, why would you buy a Tesla Cybertruck? Ooh, because I was a <laughs> You can't even help it. You're like Michael Scott. You can't help but like say That's what she said. <laughs> you can't say anything else. Why would you buy a Tesla Cybertruck, Dave? Oh, I wanted, man. I, I like my life too much. <laughs> uh, Dan <I> Pete. <laughs> Why would you buy a Z4M today? Because uh, it gets six speed rural drive with its slip. Naturally aspirated high revving motor. It was built to be a convertible, so it mm -hmm. feels very solid on the road. Mm -hmm. Best bang for the buck out there. Way better than an E46 M3 convertible, in my opinion. Why would you buy a Jeep Trackhawk? <laughs> What's funny, Dan? <laughs> okay, uh, and why would you buy a Mercedes EQS? Uh, I wouldn't because it's the stupidest. While Dan P is going on this beautiful rant, we just want to ask you guys to take this moment to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thanks. Let's get back to it. That's why I have never bought one. Sounds personal. <laughs> John, why would you buy a BMW Z4M today? I wouldn't. Why? Because I don't like them. 
Is it the wheels or the diff or the? Uh, I'm, like the I'm, I'm not an F54 fan. Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh, okay. <laughs> Why would you buy a G-Wagon? I wouldn't. Is it too big for you or is it too fast? It's a Mercedes. Oh! I'll stick with the BMW. Okay. Would you, would you take the G-Wagon or the Z4? If you had to go to like a, an event. Uh, I would take the Z4. Winner. Okay. Honest answers. Honest answers. I love it. Dude, John, you just sold your car. Yeah, we just, we, yeah. Your, your X5. It's sold disappeared. already? Disappeared. Yeah. What? <laughs> so now what's, what's the replacement gonna look like? Probably Hellcat. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure. I don't know. Probably an F80 with a manual. Oh. Okay. That John, sounds nice. John's a boost man. He likes the boost, man. Yeah. I was gonna hear that. Shh, shh. <laughs> okay, supercharge, supercharge, turbo, turbo. turbo, let's go. Thank you, John. Thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and follow us. We'll catch you next time. Ah, I hate being HR director.